It's big, but it's not too big. Yeah. Perfect size. It really is. It really is. It's 34 feet, 9 inches, not even 10,000 pounds dry, mm -hmm. can sleep four, and is probably one of the prettiest fifth wheels I've seen in a long time. Yes. Which one is this one, Big This Road? is the 2022 Primetime Crusader 305 RLP. And what I love about this one, Chris, is a couple things. Um, kind of like you said right off the bat, right? You're at 34 foot 9 inches, yeah. which puts you under that 36 foot mark. And for anyone that's been out RVing, it's been camping, been to a lot of campsites, you know that if you get over that 36 foot mark, right, it's like that magic threshold, yeah. uh, sometimes you have to find special spaces. Yep. So if you're able to stay under that, like you are in this one, mm -hmm. uh, you can just pull up, have a campsite, be good to go. State parks especially. Yes, yeah, yeah state of, parks are definitely one. Yeah. Um, and like you said, the the look, they, they this did is, such a nice job in here. This is dope. Yeah, I, I have to give them I have to give them a lot of credit. And the thing that there's a couple things that really stand out to me in mm -hmm. this particular one. One of the big ones right off the bat, Chris, mm -hmm. is that kitchen island. Let me tell you, I Heaven, love the butcher block. This was island. a great addition. And, oh. and when you told me this, oh yeah, dude, it's got a butcher block island. I was like, no, it doesn't. But this is a butcher block island. Chris, I have been telling manufacturers forever that you have to put in a butcher block island, right? Yeah. You see everyone doing the renos, and what do they do? They put in a butcher block island. Yeah. Why? Because it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. That's what they have for a countertop. Finally, <laughs> someone did it, and uh, wouldn't you know it, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> absolutely beautiful. That along with the, you know, the, the almost like bronzed uh, fixtures that we have here and the yes. white cabinetry, the huge stainless steel sink with the high-rise faucet and sprayer. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, dude, like, like you pointed out when we walked in, it's like they have the little chicken wire cage yeah. for the LED sconces. I, I like it. This, I like it a lot. This is a modern vacation home. And, and one of the things, I don't know if you uh, remember, Chris, um, you know, it was, it was uh, a show we did a few months back, and, you know, Trish, who is a, a great designer, yeah. was talking about some things, and she said one of the things that is uh, kind of an upcoming trend is mixing metals. And that's exactly what they've done here, right? You have the stainless, mm -hmm. and then you have the dark faucet, yeah. which doesn't match the poles, right? It's all different metals, but it works. It looks great. Um, I mean, this really is good. right on point for you know modern design. I think they nailed it. They, they absolutely nailed it. Add the fact in that you got the 24-inch freestanding oven here yes. with the grill-style grates and the four-burner yeah, cooktop look at the there. Size of that oven, that dude. is beautiful. Yeah, that insignia is beautiful. Yeah, you a residential-style cooktop, four burners, Chris. Four, four, four burners. burners, two. Biggies, yep. two littlies, and <laughs> littlies, <laughs> littlies. Yeah, my friend Lily. So <laughs> solid surface countertops and the telescoping TV with the window behind it, yeah. right above the sound bar and the fireplace. This is fly. Oh, look at you this doing a throwback, fly, baby. Yeah, this will tell you what jive turkeys. This is your <laughs> RV. <laughs> This is fly, sucker. Yeah, no, I, I love it. I do. I uh, do really enjoy the TV uh, being on the uh, televator or lift or mm -hmm. telescoping yeah, mounts, whatever telescoping you want to yeah, call it. Yeah. Um, just because it, if you don't want the TV to be a focal point, it doesn't have to be. Right. Uh, you know, there's a lot of times where, like, you know, like uh, my good friend Chris Young always says, uh, it's a it's a good chance to sit down and reconnect. And yeah. so by dropping that TV, getting the electronics out of the way for a little bit, uh, it allows you to do that, have those yeah. stories, you know, build those memories. But you know, if it's raining outside and uh, you've been camping for a few days and you want to watch a show, boom, pop you around. You got it. That, that's the thing I love about RVs a lot of people don't think about when they plan their vacations. And, and nowadays, with the way things are so hectic and crazy, the travel, the planes, who you're going to be sitting next to, you're in the tube, the hotel rooms, who are you going to have who were there before? You lose a lot of those opportunities to absorb those memories that you're making. Right. And what hotel room is going to give you <laughs> fireplace, a oven butcher range, block a island. butcher block <laughs> island that you can take wherever you want to go? If you want to go right. to the beach or the mountains, you're in your RV, you're in your home. And you, you don't realize it until later on. The memories that are made and what's happening when you're in your RV. The kids will remember it. The family members will remember it. Yep. The friends that you make at the campsites, you'll oh, remember yeah. forever. It's it's really a lifestyle enrichment program when you go get your RV. And, and it's funny that you say that, right? Like friends at the campsite. Um, you know, my in-laws have, they have a seasonal at a, a place and they've been there for a number of years now. And we've uh, always gone there. And so a lot of their neighbors and stuff that, you know, come over mm -hmm. and have seen the kids grow up. And one of their uh, neighbors in the RV lot 
sends my children Christmas cards and birthday nice. cards every year. You nice. know, like, like that's the kind of bond. I mean, you know, it's yeah. it's a few generations apart. Yep. And and but that's just the, the kind of bond that you make when you're out camping, yeah. and it's really incredible. It's it's amazing. Yeah. We also got this beautiful. I mean, three-person sofa. You see Ian and I sitting on this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Dominating the back wall, large panoramic windows, and one of your favorites, man. Oh, the zebra shades, the zebra baby. Shades. Yes. Yes, indeed. That's, uh, I don't know. They're just functional. You know, I, I wish uh, I wish more RVs could have them. Obviously, you know, it's unique to the, the Cherokee family of RVs, but, man, they are great. I'd say it's a... Uh, it's a way to really kind of keep track of that light when it's coming in. Mm-hmm. But and I know Tr- Trish isn't crazy about them. I, hey, you, yeah, you know, in, interior designer, I dig it. I see where she's coming from. But for me, they just look cool, man. Listen, I, I'm <laughs> I'm a cool. I'm a functional guy, and I just like something. I like the fact it works. And yeah. I'll be like, you know, I'll be like this. I'll be like, oh, who's out there? Who, who, yeah, that's there? right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just fine. You, you don't see me. No. It's like I know Ernie <laughs> next door is trying to take my my Traeger. He better lay his hands off. <laughs> At least, at least it's not Kevin it. this time. Oh, no. no Kevin, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin knows better. Yeah. But but Kevin usually doesn't take grills because he doesn't know how to cook, so he just takes bourbon. That's that's Kevin's thing. <laughs> and Girl Scout cookies. And, and Girl, Girl Scout, Scout cookies. cookies. That's right. <laughs> uh, one of the, yeah, the, the fridge, love it. Got the four door. You got, you know, approximately 12 cubic feet on this one. Good space. Yep. For those long weekend getaways. And one of the other things that I uh, enjoy about this one too, Chris, that if you take a look up at the ceiling, not only do we have this beautiful light fixture, but you'll also see that you have your air returns right there. And that's because you have a whisper quiet AC in here. Nice. Uh, yeah. So, you know, you, my wife always tells me that I yell anyway. I guess I'm just a loud person. <laughs> but if you're not like me, uh, you can sit in here and, you know, have a fairly quiet conversation. Yeah. D- tell me about this over this, here. This is really cool, too. I'm always a big fan of, like, small innovations, right? Yeah. And this just makes so much sense to me. So what they've done is you have your two standard chairs, uh-huh. but over to the side, they have a bench seat. And you're like, okay, Ian, well, that's cool. But what this actually is is an ottoman. So you can take this out, and you can move it over to in front of your couch, and now you have a place to put your feet up. That is... How, how brilliant is that? Like, I don't know... Who thought of that? It's such a simple idea, but I love it. It is so ingenious. I'll tell you right now, somebody super fly thought about that one. <laughs> there he is and again. Man, that's, that's what's happening. <laughs> hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold I, on. I want you to hold get on. there, but first, this pantry. Oh, Chris, yeah, 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 yeah. This pantry. Kev, look take at it. A look at that. That is a bunch You have enclosed pantry. storage over here. You have a uh, an appliance shelf, right, for your coffee maker, toast, mm-hmm. or whatever you want in there. And you have more storage over to the side, plus plenty in the middle for vacuum swiffer what uh broom whatever else you need to put in there if you need to hide from the police like i know you do from on occasion especially that's in a texas. good spot for yeah. it which by the way i'm not in texas right now we they may be i am not <laughs> i found him uh, yeah the 2022 primetime crusader 305 rlp wow dude yeah you, you were not lying so uh, full disclosure i don't get a chance to see the primetime crusaders a lot this is i'm right in ian's wheelhouse with these but man, I am I am blown away. Corner mounted notch here. Yep. And you got the little control panel. And Kev brought up a good point about this one. Great spot for stuff maybe you don't want the kids to get to. Absolutely. Or a little grab and go spot. Maybe yep. a decorative plant holder, whatever, because you do have the glass inlay. Mm-hmm. But bourbon. Bourbon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got but Kevin now. can reach it. Yeah. Well, why don't you go upstairs, Chris? Take a look up there and see what we got, buddy. I'll, I'll meet you on the outside. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna continue checking this out. So here we have. Same thing with the mixed metals like Ian was talking about inside the kitchen you have in the bathroom. You got the high-rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush. You got the contoured glass enclosure for the walk-in shower with the bench seat. Oversized vanity sink plus medicine cabinet, vent, and fan. And then you come in here to the master. I see we got the nice, large, comfortable bed. I bet we got some storage underneath. Strut supported. Look at that. Yeah, now you're talking, baby. Got the own AC up here. Got the little decorative headboard. Plus, check out my LED sconces on both sides. Over here on the off-camp side, I got the dual USB in 110 with the oversized nightstand. Storage underneath, storage on top, and my own wardrobe in its slide. I, I got to tell you, the, just the decorative appointments on this Primetime Crusader 305 RLP alone make me put this in one of the top spots for fifth wheels for me. This is absolutely beautiful. I think the family would enjoy it. I think the loved ones would enjoy it. Uh, and I'm sure, as beautiful as it is here on the inside, I'm sure the outside's got to be cool. Big dog, I know you're drooling out there. Let's let's go check it out. Drooling is right. You you see this? 
See, Kev, they do this because they know that if you're getting this bad boy, you're not doing cans, baby. You're popping bottles. <laughs> ah, look at that. Somebody say bottles? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up, Did, baby? I was just showing everyone the uh, the bottle opener there. Oh, you know? that's I, right on time. I tell you, sometimes, sometimes it's the little things, man. It is, because, I mean, when you're walking out, you can just be stepping out, reach over. Oh, and listen, I'm going to get this. I'm going to invite a bunch of friends over, and yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, hey, you want to see something cool? They'll be like, well, I'll be like, that one's for you. That's right. Just don't touch it to the mountains are blue. That's <laughs> double awnings on this. Free, free endorsement. We'll be here all day. <laughs> and uh, yeah. that one's free. The next one you got to pay for. Like Chris was saying, you got double awnings out here. Uh, again, you know, I, I really enjoy manufacturers do this, especially when you have a slide, right? So if if you're new to RVing and you're looking at floor plans. Um, one of the things a lot of people gravitate toward is an island. And for obvious reasons, we saw yes. in there, it's gorgeous. It has yeah. storage. But in order to get an island, a manufacturer has to put in what we in the industry call dual opposing slides, which are slides that are going to be right across from each other to give that enough space for that island. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, a lot of times it takes out camp space, and that can be a problem. So in order to counteract that, manufacturers will put another awning on here yeah. so that way you have all of this still as camp space you have camp space here mm -hmm. camp space here camp space everywhere you get camp space so you, you get, get camp, camp space. space everyone gets camp space plus you still got things you know move your grill around you could do it under the awning not under the awning but it allows you to have that entertainment space separate yeah so if the adults are over here with the card table playing over the kids are over there drawing yes, or whatever exactly. near, near the picnic table it really yep. allows you to have that versatility when entertaining outside I love it yeah good good storage out here too um, you know we talk about that you, you got to bring a lot of things with you camping from you know toolbox if you have like a portable table yeah. your chairs you know anything that you want you got great space in there I love that there is some vertical plumbing but they put it all the way over mm -hmm. to the side right yep. so that way it's not running straight down, down the, the middle, middle where it's going to impede everything yeah Man, this a good is, job there. This is just beautiful. I, I, I love the graphics. And yeah, the graphics look 3D. Gold sparkle. Yeah, the gold sparkle. Mm -hmm. My nickname in college. And it's just such a great, you got the sealed what, safety windows what, all the what, way around. What, what, what were you doing in college? Your nickname was Gold Sparkle. <laughs> look, man, we, my attorney said I can't talk about that right now. <laughs> so, but the adjustable pitch on the 12, what's wrong, Jace? What's wrong? You know that's true. It's, I mean, look, I can't help it. But what you can help is getting your brand new 2022 Primetime Crusader uh -huh. 305 RLP, 34 feet, 9 inches, 9,800 pounds dry, sleeps for Ian, man, you absolutely crushed this one. This is one I think I got to take home. So if you want it, you better come get it now because we have them. You heard it here from Gold Sparkle himself. <laughs>